Argentina in South America. Um, and uh, from Argentina then spread to the different uh, countries and uh, eventually the, the territory, the South America territory was divided into the South America East and South America West territories. Um, but uh, the, the first uh, pioneers, Salvation Army pioneers, landed here in uh, Buenos Aires and began the Army work here. There are a lot of challenges in South America uh, for the Army in different countries. Both Argentina and Uruguay are seen by the rest of the world as first world countries um, because they are well developed countries. However, we are a grant aided territory which means that we are unable to support the Salvation Army Ministries financially from within the territory. Added to that is the fact that we do most of our work in the poorer neighborhoods in these countries, which means that our soldiery are coming from poorer families and are unable to support um, their local Salvation Army Corps and ministries to any great extent. However, there's a lot of good work being done and it's thanks to the help that we receive from other countries uh, from the Army world that uh, will allow us to continue some of that service. With regard to the ongoing Salvation Army service in these countries, we had at one time more of an institutional model for service. Uh, children's homes were all over the place in South America and we had a number of them here in these three countries. But that model is becoming very much outdated and the idea of, of warehousing people is no longer um, desirable in this part of the world as it isn't in most parts of the world. Uh, we're moving towards more of a community model where we can help to be agents of change in the communities where we work. An example of that would be our Evangelina Green Space program and there were tremendous needs in that community. One of the biggest needs was among the children and young people of a squatter's village. They were having a particular problem with their children and young people being becoming addicted to a drug they call Paco and it's a very common street drug and we opened what we now call the Evangelina Green Space, which is a community program. It was designed by the community together with the Salvation Army and its goals are to provide options for the children and young people in that community uh, so that they won't become involved in the drug culture that's so prevalent there. And so they have sports, they have uh, handicrafts, there's some anti-drug teaching that goes on, and there's some Christian teaching as well. There's also programs uh, in the green space area for their mothers and for other family members to become involved in. And uh, the purpose of that then is to be able to bring change in that community, positive change that will make a difference for the future generations there. But one of the things that we're doing to try and finance our territory is through our, our thrift stores or charity shops. And so we've been actively expanding our thrift shop operation for the last three years. Uh, to the point where now uh, we have uh, about 16 stores around the territory and a couple of large uh, industrial operations. And those stores are providing uh, financing that uh, this territory never had before. And, uh, and it's really helping us on the road towards uh, self-sufficiency. We've got a long road ahead of us. We've seen the stores as an opportunity to get into the communities to open the doors of our cores and our buildings and have the community come in. Um, they're coming in to shop, but they have opportunity to talk to an officer 
they get invited to the core um, ministries that are going on. Um, every customer gets one of our Salvationist magazines when they leave and it's a real opportunity to reach out. So we have uh, a vibrant training college. At the present time we have nine second-year cadets and five first-year cadets who make up the two sessions that are at the training college right now. We have uh, transient residents here, residences here in Buenos Aires. Um, there are a lot of people who live on the streets and uh, these residences allow them to, uh, to have a, a warm bed in the winter time somewhere to come in out of the cold and out of the, the danger that is uh, life on the streets. We have a women's transient residence in Buenos Aires and we'll have women and their children who would come to stay in that residence. So it makes a big difference when um, territories like Canada and Bermuda come alongside to help us. Thank you, Canada and Bermuda Territory. Please keep us in your thoughts and prayers.